when you find the area of something, what you're doing is finding the space inside. It's kind of like if we look at the floor and we're looking at all the little tiles there, we're trying to figure out how many square tiles can we put on the floor. In this case, when we find area, that area is going to be the length times the width because if I made a whole bunch of little squares and made this 13 by 7, we'll pretend it's 13 by 7 when I'm done drawing, <laughs> something like that. I could find all the squares in there. So my length is 13 yards, my width is 7 yards, and so if you take 13 times 7, you come up with 91. 91. And in this case, my label is going to be in square units because I'm taking a yard times another yard, which is yard squared. And thinking about what area means, I'm filling it with squares that are each a yard in size. When we find the area of a square, you're still thinking of length times width, but for a square, they're going to be the same thing. So for my area for my square, they're just going to say you take the side to the second power because I'm going to take the 24 meters times the 24 meters or 24 meters to the second power. So if you do that, you would end up with... There is, you can either do the x squared key or caret 2 and then hit equals. So we get 576 and again my label is always going to be in that squared unit, so meters squared. And so on number 6, if you go ahead and find the area of that one, Come up with hundred eight and my label inches squared. Hundred eight inches squared. 